this evening. Six former All Blacks have been named for the Bavarian side to play England at Twickenham at the start of June, ahead of the three test series here. City Vini Sitivatu, Jimmy Cohen, Andrew Hoare, Benson Stanley, Joe Rokothoko and Jose Aguirre all make the side. Papua New Guinea women's cricket team are preparing for a bumper year in 2015 and are hoping the scheduling gods can do them a favour. The Lawas beat defending champions Japan in the final of the East Asia Pacific Women's Trophy last week to earn a spot at next year's Women's World 2020 qualifier. The dates for the tournament are yet to be completed. We go for that qualifying and if it's before then we'll have to see if we're able to get some games abroad just to prepare ourselves for the qualifying. Kone Amini. The New Zealand women's sevens team has swept their pull at the season-ending tournament in Amsterdam and their series leaders will face Russia in the Cup quarter-finals. The New Zealanders beat Spain 19-5, Ireland 28-7 and thrashed the USA 43-7. And New Zealand's Olympic kayak racing champion Lisa Carrington has reached the 500 metres final at the second World Cup meet of the year in the Czech Republic. Carrington won her semi-final by almost a second after cruising to her third in the heat. Radio New Zealand International. Aloha nee. this is Dateline Pacific from Radio New Zealand International. I'm Amelia Langford. In this edition, Vanuatu's new Prime Minister wants the country to return to its roots. Bougainville's leader accuses a minister of lying over consultation claims. The Cook Islands looks at the future of deep sea mining. Most Solomon Island flood victims are now out of evacuation centres. PNG's government takes the lead to tackle gender-based violence. And in sport, champion footballer Winton Rufa tries to instill a winning culture in PNG. Joe Natuman has been elected by Parliament as Vanuatu's new Prime Minister. This came after 35 MPs in the 52-seat House supported a vote of no confidence in the leadership of Moana Kakisis. A member of Vanuatu's biggest political party, the Vanua Akun Party, Mr Natuman is an MP from Tana and the first person from that island to become Prime Minister. He spoke to our correspondent, Ale Boulé, about his election. Basically what happened was the opposition offered, offered the Prime Minister received to Natabe Group, which was in former uh, Moana government. They offered it to Farnoko Party, uh, the president of our party, Honorable Nibaka Edward Natabe, uh, decided that uh, due to health reason, he would... <laughs> Things which are not been uh, what people expected of, of our founding fathers. Basically, we, I want us to go back to the roots and redirect the country and uh, ensure that we live within our means and not to live beyond our means. Unnecessary spending will come short of money. Therefore, we resort to so-called overseas fundraising initiatives, such as selling our citizenship and our passports. So I would love to review all this, uh, what the former government did. Uh, what about the issue of the uh, uh, international project uh, with the promissory note? With, with the national airport, uh, we all agree that Powerfield, the current Powerfield airport, is already restricted. So we want a new airport to take... Uh, uh, lots of long-haul uh, aircraft, 
to increase our tourism, but what I am opposed to uh, is to is the promissory note, the $35 million promissory note. That's, uh, I will have to review it. Since the new government has, uh, of Mr. Mona Carcasses, there, 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 there has been a lot of criticism under the diplomatic mission of Vanuatu. Uh, now what is your plan? Are you going to revise uh, Vanuatu missions overseas? Yes, I think we'll, uh, the current uh, embassies we have overseas, uh, I think we will try to re restrict. I don't want to open the parliament. We will have to review that. I don't want people to accuse our diplomatic not check properly and they get into wrong hands and uh, people are caught uh, using diplomatic passport for some criminal activities then Vanuatu's name will be tarnished internationally. Vanuatu's new Prime Minister Joe Natuman talking to Elia Bule. The President of the Autonomous Papua New Guinea Province of Bougainville says the National Government's Communications Minister, Jimmy Minintoro, is lying when he claims that people's views have not been sought on the proposed new mining law. The ABG is promoting mining and the reopening of the Panguna mine as the best... DRM does work.